So today we are going to continue with the navigation, uh, with the navigation of this application. We've built the navigation structure at this point. Everything is fine. So we have all the models are represented at this point. But if I click on the links, uh, it actually does not lead to the right place. Even the home page, if I click on this dashboard, is supposed to get to the index page, but it actually does not. Let's solve this problem. Let's make sure all of them link to the correct place. I would also like to remind you to subscribe to my channel if you've not subscribed. If you are joining for the first time, subscribe right now. If you have challenges, do let me know at once. So basically, we are going to be linking all the uh, items here to the correct uh, endpoints. So I'm going to simply open up the templates and we are going to be linking them to the pages corresponding to the module or corresponding to the uh, to the to the navigation uh, item uh, at that point. So in case of our dashboard, dashboard is going to link to index to slash index. So let's call it slash index. That is fine, always. And again, I'm going to explain to you, if you are using time leaf, you represent uh, a URL using hash key, uh, sorry, using this, uh, the, the, what's it called? the the add symbol and enclose the the actual uh, link in our curly braces. So I'm going to just copy this and paste and then change it. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it right here. Maybe it's better to just copy only the the yeah. I'm going to copy everything because so it makes it easier. So I'm going to copy this and then uh, simply paste it here and it's going to be index so if that is index slash index then the next one is vehicle data is going to link to vehicle so it's going to link to vehicle so i'm going to just come here and change it to vehicle and you can just do exactly the same thing with every other one. So I'm just going to paste this right here.
So I noticed I've made a little mistake. So I'm actually, uh, I'm not actually using the name of the files right here. I should actually be using the plural because I'm, I'm going to slash, uh, slash countries. I want to get a page having a list of countries. So let me just change everything to plural. All right, so we are done with it. So the idea is that this represents a URL endpoint. So when we go to, for instance, you go to, you go to localhost, uh, let's say HTTP localhost, and you go to port 8080, and go to vehicles, so what you want to see is the list of vehicles. So, and if we if we now go to, let's open the controller for vehicles at this point. So if I open the controller for vehicles, uh, let's see vehicle controller at this point. So what we want to see is a list of vehicles. So ultimately, this HTML page, this vehicle.html page is going to give us a list of vehicles. That is why we are having slash vehicles here. And the same thing goes for country. So we have slash countries. We want to see a list of country. So this return value is simply the name of the HTML file. Okay. So the name of the HTML file can be sing is can be singular or plural because this list of countries from there, we can view one single country you can add, we can also delete or edit a country or any other item. All right, so we are going to stop here at this point. Hopefully our navigation works. Uh, allow, I'll allow you to te uh, test it out yourself. And in the next part, let me just check what we are going to continue with. We are going to now continue with, how do we now get a list of items? That is the interesting part. And that, that we are going to be doing in the next part. So please subscribe if you've not if you've not subscribed. If you have any challenges, please let me know as well.